back. Uh, I'm gonna be working on Jetta today as the um, flex pipe is, is it left. It, it quit, it gave up. Flex pipe is gone, that's what I'm trying to say. I will show you. Are you ready? So that is what we will be trying to remedy today. Um, I got an off-the-shelf flex pipe. I didn't get any clamps or anything yet. I figured you'd get that chunk of pipe out of there and then go from there, see what I, what I need to do. It's gonna get cut off. I got a band clamp coming. Should be here tomorrow. To, do the thing. I'll, I'll show you when we get there. First I'm going to raise up the car. Okay, a little bit of the sketch factor going on. I'll show you. Oh yeah, that works. Up here, way more sketch. But I gave it the death shake and it ain't gonna fall down on top of me. At least I hope. Okay, so this is what's bad. Kinda happens frequently from what I understand. Oh, I wonder if this is almost just a better job just to take Mr. Muffler to get done. I don't know if any of this stuff is going to come apart. I don't know. Okay, the first step we're going to do is we're going to take this cover off. Let's see, two 10 millimeter bolts. Oh, oh, plastic dingus things Ling, thing lingus thing dingus okay there's that one so we're gonna take the downstream O2 sensor off we're gonna leave the upstream because it's not gonna be in the way it's in the manifold itself I'm gonna take that off at least I don't think I mean, we could, but my plan is not to take it off. So in there, which one is it? It's this guy. Pop this out. Mm. That. So there's the little bugger. Bugger. Right here. And I broke it off. Cool. There we go. Ouch. Connections are nice. Very nice. And this guy, I just want to check for shits and giggles. For giggles and shits. How does that come out there? Okay, which with extreme prejudice is how it comes out of there. Extreme prejudice. A little squirt of the good stuff. Let the good stuff go. Hello? Good stuff. Where'd you go? 
Oh, it's all the way over there. Dang it, dang it, dang it. <laughs> dang it, Bobby. Get up in there. Get up in there now. Something's happening. Let me get a screwdriver. Okay, okay. Here we go now. Here we go. I mean, it's trying. It sure is trying. It's up. Really need from it has to be up. So there we are. A little bit of leverage. Lever, lever to cleaver. Yeah, that's fine. That's fine here. All the pins are good, not corroded. Okay. Put back together. That go out. Yep. Okay. Now, what I want to do for some preservation purposes. It's like that. Okay. Mm, sarsaparilla. Monkey farts. Monkey farts. Sarsaparilla. Monkey sasp. Does it go like that? Kind of sort of maybe. I don't know. No. Does it? Okay. Moving on, moving on. Just temporarily up and back up. Yeah. Because I kept getting the PO420 code. I took two of these spark plug non fowlers, stacked them together. I drilled through this one. I left this one, so you drill through it and then pop that one on, that one. And you push, pop that on. And it's supposed to quit with the PO420 code. So let's see if there's any way I can get this off. Wish me luck. So we're going to try the, the actual socket, but I don't think that's going to work. Okay. Okay, now. Hey, wow, okay. <laughs> oh, I just lucked out. Uh. Okay. So that's kind of what it's supposed to do. Goodness. I'm assuming the catalytic converter is just not working at all. <laughs> oh well, that's fine. We don't need catalytic converters. Not, not Michigan anyways. Next, we're gonna focus on these bolts right here. Okay, yeah, right there and right there. No idea what size they are. I'm going to guess 13. <clears throat> I should have brought something out there. Clean these up. Okay, so I gave these bolts a little whirl on the. Um, Okay. 
Okay, we got that. Wasps and bees are swarming in on me. They're swarming in on me. Okay, so we can see where it's broke now. Snippy snow. I'd like to just eliminate this fucking thing. This is not the first time this has failed. Not the first time for me, but through everybody who's owned it. And this is like the second or third time. But I don't think that is going to be possible. So now that I got that kind of halfway off, I think it's saws all the time. So, you guys are probably not going to be able to watch me do a whole bunch of this, but this is my next step that I think I'm going to take, because I can't really get in with this gigantic ass saw blade like that long to cut here, and I want to cut somewhere, I don't want to cut right here because I'm using a band clamp, I want it to be straight, that's somewhat straight, but it's you know, it's got the little bendy and then the bendy do again. I don't want to cut right here because it's, you know, the expanded pipe into the two inch. So I want it somewhere here. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take these eight bolts out. I'm not sure if I'm going to take these out yet. I might just let it dangle. And then, um, yeah, then, then we'll see. Probably be able to get in there with the Sawzall better and get a cleaner cut. Ah! No! No! Okay. Oh, that was sketch. You see? I can't quite tell if that's better or not. I don't think it's quite better yet. Okay, some things happened since the battery died. Oop. And we're almost home free there. I mean, probably just gonna snip that the rest of the way off and so I have easier access up there. But it's four bolts and of course they're like super tiny. 
kind of nervous about that. Hopefully, hopefully, hopefully things work out. We have got what we came for. It's going to go roughly right there. This part, I haven't quite figured out yet. Um, either way, this is, I'm going to have to figure out something different to do with this because it was just tacked in place. So I don't really feel too bad cutting that off. The heat shield came off, so we'll have to run some band or some hose clamps around it so my car doesn't spontaneously combust. Um, can't quite really see in there. Let me do some opening. Okay, yeah. So, if a guy grinds this weld off, right there, there is pipe they cut off, goes to about here. So it'll slide nicely up into there, and I'll just have to cut it off about the same length. And I'm assuming it's going to be the same on this end. I don't know how well this is going to turn out, but I just hope I don't shoot a whole bunch of sparks everywhere into the camera. If the camera lands, that's gonna be scary. Risky business. Voice would be nice. Nice voice. Still have time. I'm gonna go to the parts store, grab two two-inch clamps, and yeah. hopefully my band clamp is in because they said it would be here tonight. So, I don't know. We'll see. We got more our assortment of goodies. The mega clamp came in. Got some of this just in case. Two of these for our purposes. Yet we show. And I've got these guys. So, hopefully there's enough light by the time I get home to finish grinding off the rest of that other pipe. And, um, yeah, do, do the rest of the thing and stuff. Stuff and things. Okay. Okay, here's the rundown. I'm going to snip this off. Bloop. Boop, boop. And then we'll save on that. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to focus on these welds right here. Grind them off. And then kind of finger it out. Uh, yeah. Okay. I just got to remember that I only had... I don't know, maybe half half an inch of tubing left on that one, so. All right, we're back. 
day two, uh, new plan, new new parts. Since that band clamp didn't work, I just went out and got a regular two and a quarter ID connector. I think that was my issue, is because this is actually two and a quarter, not two inch. So there was no way I was gonna get that band clamp to work. And then, is we're gonna go back to the grinder as you can see in there this is been done twice on this car I'm gonna grind this weld off and pop that off and then hopefully we will get her to fit over that um, yeah I hope that's two inch Anyways, I'm going to get to it. I'm going to put you guys back on the time lapse. And uh, we'll see how it turns out, I guess. Yeah. Yep. Okay. Okay, just to give me every advantage, cleaned the end of that pretty well. That's gonna work. That'll fit up to there. Just need to fit it all together and um, see where I sit with trimming this guy. I hope I don't have to trim it all, but you know how that goes. So I'm gonna get all this stuff set up under the car. I'll set you guys up and um, we'll see where we go. Alright, see you in a bit. I don't really know where to start. It's supposed to be built there. Okay. We got some shove room, so maybe we'll just build it up in the front. I'm be reusing this gasket because I did not remember to grab a new one at the parts store. Bummer. First order of business is to put this up finger tight for right now. We go with the flex pipe. As far as I can get it to go. Max with the hammer. Hammer. And that to be this thing. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, we're gonna be perfect. So I think, I think I'm going to take this apart again. Well, no. Oh, so what I'm going to do, put this on first, put this on, you see? That's about where I want it. Okay. And we're going to grab our clamps. So I was worried I wasn't going to have enough room to put this all together in here. And this is going to be the hard part. This part right here. What? Just since I took the pretty much the whole exhaust off of all of its hangers, it is all sliding together nicely. Mm. 
and I wouldn't have to be doing this if the previous owner didn't have this whole thing welded all together. But, you know, that is not my control, so we're working with what we got. So we're 14, so whatever that equates to in standard talk. Getting this clamp down first, so I don't have to worry about it slipping and sliding on me. I go to put the other bits on me. Okay, it is nice and secure. Okay, I'm not quite sure how I'm going to do this next step. So bam. But I think what I want to do is say... Oh, they're nice. Yeah, perfect. It's going to be very nice. What I'm going to want to do is put the clamp on up there first. the room to get tools up there to really clamp down on this thing that's, that's up there. I wonder if I could smash it on the ground. Try and get more. Try and get it in, in there more. Okay, back from dinner. Full belly. This is how far I've gotten so far. I'm very happy with how this turned out, but it sealed all the way around. I was having trouble because this is so egg-shaped, getting it to crush down here. But I think I finally got it. Still a little bit of a gap there but I, I think that it should be fine so go back under here put that put that gasket in um I'm kind of debating on going back to the parts store I think I actually will to grab a new gasket so I wanted to go all this and then you know have it leak up there so we'll run and grab that and we will be back here I figured I'd show you guys where Camel Garage is moved to, basically. This is a nice storage unit. Um, I had the idea of stopping here first, because I could have swore I had a gasket for that. Just laying around. 
So. Do some poking around here. Let's see what I come up with. No luck on the gasket, but I did find a Primo 2 sensor from the Jetta. Look this week. Ooh, look at them pretty things. One of these days. One of these days. Struck out in advance. More dice. They can have one in Monday, so I ordered it. But I'm gonna need one a little bit quicker. Like today ish. Would be nice. So we're gonna go to. AutoZone, their application says that they have one in stock. We're gonna figure that out now. Okay, so we got that. Six, seven dollars versus at least double that at Advanced Auto. I didn't forget, I need to get two hose clamps for the catalytic converter heat shield. So I, I kind of want to put that back on. Um, online it's saying... Uh, body width. Five inches. So we're going to go with roughly that. Um, we're going to go to Home Depot though. Hopefully it should be cheaper there. We'll find out. Got the stuff. Um, I decided to get a couple of new flange nuts. I forgot to grab the lock washers. Anyways, um, I grabbed a couple. Oh, there's some scrap in the road. I grabbed a couple. There's three to five inch clamps, and then a couple five to seven inch clamps at the home depot. Almost that spot. Hopefully that will do what I'm wanting it to do, and just hold on to the old uh, catalytic converter thing. Probably didn't see that, but um, the catalytic converter heat shield is is what I'm talking about. So when we get back to the house. I'll uh, update you guys, but I'm losing light fast, so I gotta get this done. I only got like one more clamp to put on, and then a bunch of the hose clamps to put on, and, and, then, and then it should be there, yeah. We should, should yeah. Mm -hmm. Yep, okay. Okay, we've made it back. And now I'm playing with this thing. So. Our handy dandy vice grips. A little tighter. A little bit tighter. A little bit tighter. Ah. Hey. Hey. <laughs> We're just going to stick with the 12. That a shot. It's a little bit of luck. <sighs> no. Not having uh, the much luck. Okay, well, I'm just gonna have to stay how it is because I don't want to screw that all the way up. 
and be out of stud. Damn, there's a lot of ants here. One was just crawling up my ear. Okay. So now, what I'm gonna do, we're gonna get this new gasket in. Um, I hope you guys can see something. There's not really much space for me to jam a camera. Take the gasket. Okay. We're gonna jam that up there at first thing. That's cool, it fits. I guess maybe the first thing. Oh, is that the right way? I think so. There's one. Let's sneak around the back for the second one. Hopefully not hit myself in the face. That would be great. These are M8 by, I think, one. In case you were wondering if you wanted to get new ones, like I did. Oh, M8 by Threads up too bad on this. Mm, that's a maybe. on. Do not know the torque spec on this. I'm just getting them um, good and snug. Good and snug. Try and do that upstream O2 sensor. Oh man, I did all this work and the damn manifold is cracked. Oh well, this I'll have to do for now.
You know what I think I should do? Before I put this together, I'm going to reassemble back there. Um, the reason being is I don't want to go too far forward. I feel if oh, this is put back together, then I won't run the risk in doing that. So, let me show you where this goes real quick. Okay, so that bracket, each of those bolts go up there and it holds the, um, this muffler from swinging, swinging around. I just got them both zapped in there. There's just a bunch of rust and everything flying into my eyes. I couldn't see, there's no space to work. I got a list of complaints, so. Now what I think I'm gonna do here is this guy first. I think I'm gonna bolt this bracket up. I'll get you guys right here. So I'm not banging into ya. Okay. The idea is to bolt the bracket up first. And then I will bolt the um the hangers in last. So it seems to me oh, these are supposed to be installed. So I'm sure if I know the hard way. Um what are they? Thirteens. Okay, time to zippy zap. Okay. Pretty much did exactly what I was hoping it would do. Let me show you. up. All I really got to do, push that up a little bit and that kind of brings it where those uh, hangers fly. So let me get those in there and bolt them down. Now I wish I would have paid more attention to how this came apart. Because it's got like this little lip on it, but it's only on one side. <clears throat> okay, I feel like it's got to be this this way because there's a flat on this side. There's that one. Yes, when? Okay, snapped into place. This one's got two as well. I kind of snapped into place a little bit. Okay, bolt there, 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 there. 
I'll come back to you and show you when I'm done. Okay, we are back. We're gonna do the last connection. Grab our last two inch clamps. Need to give him the clamps for us. Clamps. Give him the clamps. Let's just snug that up just perfectly. Okay, it doesn't have to be really tight right now. as close to the edge as I can. It just seems to make sense to me. I don't know. Probably I'm wrong. Probably should be in a little bit more, but ask me if I care. I don't. Go ahead and ask me if I care. No. No, I don't. Go ahead, no. No, I don't. Go ahead and ask. No, I don't. You don't care. Sake. Well, that's a 14. We don't have that down here. Okay, kind of got some light. I have the picture. Zap zap gun. No. Okay. Try this again. Bit more for your luck, I guess. Okay, that'd be that. So, next is uh, this heat shroud. Figure out which way this goes. Fisher exhaust products. matter which way it goes oh yeah it's definitely backwards but ask me if I care I don't I do not care um we're gonna try with the with five inch I don't really know oh yeah Good enough. Okay. Check. So next is, I need to go grab um, the other hanger thing. All right, so our next hurdle. Hurdle turtle. Hurdle McTurtle, hurdle. Okay, 
is to get this guy. However it was, I think it was like this. Back like this. So this guy can go back like this. I think anyway, it's gotta go like that. There's no other way. We are back. Now, this kind of goes without saying, this is not a permanent solution, nor really even a, you know, good solution, but it, it works. So, all I did basically re-put this back in. I wasn't able to pull it all the way through, so it's like halfway in there and the nub is, but that's how it was when I took it off. I just crisscrossed hose clamps, and I snugged them up. And that should be good enough to give it a little bit of support. And, um, yeah. So, that's pretty much it, aside from a startup. It's still going to be a little bit loud because of that crack in the manifold. Um, and then tomorrow I want to do the upstream oxygen sensor since I got a new one. So, um, that's going to be it for tonight. Aubrey will see me in the morning. In three, two. So here's the scoop. There is a crack in that manifold. Brand new, that manifold's $500. This is a $500 car. I mean, I've put more than that into the suspension and everything that I've done to it so far, but it's just, I'm not, I'm not gonna do $500 manifold. I may end up eventually if it gets bad enough um there's some on ebay 62 dollars and then 50 some dollars for shipping because it's coming from canada um that might be a possibility but for right now i gotta go fetch that o2 sensor and we're gonna swap that out get it plugged back in and then i think we're ready to drop her down and, and hit the key. So I'm gonna change this battery out and then get you guys set up. Hopefully you guys can see something while I'm doing this, but I don't know. I, don't know. I haven't been filming in quite a while, so I don't have my usual magnetic sticky things. So that'll be hopefully the next video, I don't know. Okay, plan of attack. We have two different styles of Austin sensor sockets. We will try. If I can get this freaking zip tie out of here. Oh my lord. Maybe. Here we go. Here we go now. Here we go. Nope. Here we go now. Ah, yes. There we went. The French out of here. Okay. Um, next, I'm going to go under the car and clip that. Be right back. Okay, next, we're going to check the light to make sure I got the correct oxygen sensor. Gonna kinda dangle that guy somewhere in that region. That's fine. And close enough. Alright. What do I see? Because I cannot see in this viewfinder. Kinda sorta. Sorta kinda. There we go. Yep, alright. Take the new sensor out of harm's way. Boy, howdy, it's got up here. Okay. Yeah, that should work. Uh, we want it off. That's all the way.
gravity. Okay, I'm gonna have to set you guys in a different position. Something. I think we got her. Bam. Woo. Yep, we got it. I feel like I've already replaced this once before, but maybe not. Maybe it was just the downstream. There we go. Hmm. Yeah, it seems newish. of the snugs. Just reassembly. I gotta go find a zip tie. Tie it up. Okay. Then the fish that guy down there somewhere. Oxygen sensor harness, so you can kind of see. Let me. Okay, and then we just clip it into these clips right here. There's one clip. Do clip. Oh, maybe not. To set you guys up somewhere. Right here. Yes, perfect. Okay. Bam. I don't I don't know. You can go grab that other oxygen sensor. So we're gonna reconnect the downstream O2. Probably should have done already by now, but Uh, maybe. 
there. That one goes. Good enough. Okay. I want to put. I remember how this stuff goes. That's it. Bam boom. Gonna give you a little. I'd like to replace this at some point, and then that manifold eventually is gonna get replaced. But that about sums it up for this venture. way and I'll do an outro a little bit later and get more time all right it's like two maybe three days later this is the official first fire I've got my code scan up get rid of the codes that are already in there Cool. Oh, it's so much better. Yes. So much better. clamps found out that the pipe they replaced it with wasn't two inch it's two and a quarter so that fan clamp wasn't gonna work so we just got an adapter and adapted it tell me if I'm doing a good job by giving it a thumbs up sharing commenting and subscribing Thanks. Okay. Here we go. Here we go now. Here we go. Here we go now. Oh, there we, there we went. Here we go. Here we go now. Go back to making money with this pig. Ooh, ooh. Oh, that's so much better. Like a trillion times better. Are we gonna make it? Oh, it's gonna be tight, but I think we can do it.
Oh, I think we can do it. Oh yeah, we're doing it. Oh yeah. That is taut. Really, really taut. We got her though. We got her. We got her, Otter. Take it through the shape down. See if it's gonna hold up through the uh, I forgot that ladder is up on the roof. <laughs> it held on there for a good bit. Okay. Our little ladder. Yep, right there. Whoopsies. Whoopsies daisies. Uh, it's not one thing, it's 12 others. Well, there still is a minute exhaust leak. Just, just a little. 